Good morning. How's everyone doing? Oh. That looks interesting. <clears throat> How was the weekend? I'm fine actually. I'm quite good. Today I'm painting some monsters, which is always fun. Good stuff to do. It was a good, fun, uh, fun portfolio review, uh, but it was many hours. Um, My Sunday was easy. Kids were kind of just lounging around, um, cooked some tasty food. All good. Art and games. Yeah, I was playing a lot of Destiny on PlayStation 4. Such a good game. I'm really impressed by it. And I'm really looking forward to the fact that they're going to do um, Destiny 2. Is going to be on PC, which is which I really look forward to. Uh, anyways, how about we start with topics to get that rolling? Hey, dear Bart. Hmm, that's that's weird. I wonder what why that's happening. Odd. Hello, Captain Jetlag and Georg. Rock stars, all of you. Tavern Brawl. Berserker of Trog. Minotaur Berserker of Trog. That's pretty cool. Abyssal. Abyssal Knight. Is that like the, from the depth? Final Boss Night Flowers. One, two, three. Okay. So there's one more topic. But let's... Um, Let's throw the dice, and if it's number six, it's first come, first serve. Sci-fi heavy armor. All right. Lurib wanted. <coughs> Sci-fi heavy armor. Sci-fi heavy armor by Lurib. Hey, Michal. Alright. Sci-fi heavy armor. Hmm. Why isn't hmm, alright, maybe. Let's let's have a look. Time's rolling. Time is rolling. Cool Irish nonsense. Alright. Let's yeah, I wanna paint some today. Sci-fi heavy armor. Right. Sci-fi heavy armor. I can't. I'm kind of seeing this weird, like, snake-like alien on a on a on a huge in a huge sci-fi armor, but not like it's it's meant for. Not like a soldier, but for some sort of, um, I don't know. Obviously, it's going to look strong. That's that's like the mental picture. But, uh, yeah, the, the, I wanted, in my head, the, the, the difference between like a small head and big body. That's what I'm going to go after. Let's see. Let's see what comes out. <laughs> I have no idea.
Kuru, yeah. I mean, it has happened. It has happened. Um, I mean, obvi the obvious one was the steampunk sniper. Or a steampunk assassin. That was obviously not sci-fi or fantasy. <laughs> and uh, there was this walrus. Or what was it? Seal? Um, uh, SWAT team seal as in the animal not the not the special forces captain jetlag yeah yeah i mean i could uh hey send some by the way good morning good morning arms uh Yeah, I, I mean, I can twist and turn it to make it uh, non-sci-fi uh, or fantasy, definitely. But the problem then is when it has to become something that is actually real, that looks a specific way, they always have to be, like, Googling involved to some degree. Um, I mean, not always, but... Uh, when something is very specific, it's always hard to get it right from the mind. Even though sometimes I, I do try, like the seal and so on. But uh, who was it? Uh, Snow White, I had to Google. I just, just didn't remember it. Yeah, diesel punk. Punk. Or pudic. <laughs> Oh yeah, that that's not a kid. Yeah, that's true. That was another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I do enjoy some diesel punic. It's my favorite topic. Yeah, it was a lot of fun doing the uh, art talk portfolio review thing. It's a lot of people. It was fun. Hopefully, um, you guys took something away from it. You know, it's a fun thing to do. Obviously, it became very, you know, was going on for a very long time, and the feedback like enter this kind of the stream of just sounding the same all the time mostly because a lot of people are doing the same mistake um, but it was uh, it was still fun to see all the art some really cool art uh, and really nice to see the difference between you like all the people that submitted their portfolios really liked it That's cool. Yeah, it was fun. So here's for uh, at 1,500. Let's see, is the is the um, counter correct today? 1057. No, it's missing three people. Maybe I can go in and manually change that um, so it counts correctly. But I don't understand why it doesn't count correctly. I don't understand. Yeah, 
yeah, at the followers on, on top of the Twitch stream, it shows 1,061. But the, the counter app thing um, or widget that's uh, in the stream window counts wrong. And I don't understand why it's counting wrong. It's very frustrating. Like that, that, that discrepancy there. I'll look into it later. It's not like uh, game game breaking. No, but it's fun. Remove those headphones. I'm not listening to anything anyways. Tomorrow I'll go get a haircut. It's been like over way over a month of not being groomed. My beard is all over the place. My my hair is all over the place. It'll be good. I was thinking a lot about the um, my class, Patreon class. I was doubting it for a while. Like, uh, I was up at night, like, thinking about, is it worth it? Is it, is it worth putting all that effort in? Like, will it, you know, pay? You know, will, will, uh, as it not pay, but what's the word? Will it be worth the effort, you know? Is, is someone going to be interested? But I think... I think I'll just do it, the episode, like, first chapter, and, uh, like, thumbnailing, whatever, and see if, gauge the interest, and um, at the same time, I think I'll record my, my latest lecture about character design and put it online for free. So people can, uh, you know, get an, uh, a vague understanding of what the class will be based on the information I'm, I'm sharing. I mean, I, I did show you some slides of the talk, and uh, a lot of you seem to to enjoy that info. Um, so it gave me. Um, well, I, I actually before that I already decided that I I do it that way, like the release the the slide slides. But I think I'll go through the slides while talking, so it's like a YouTube movie. Um, Yeah, Michael, I know. I know it's that's the problem with like setting it up yourself is that the the traffic is not there not, not in the same way like CG CGMA. They they're already established. There's they all already get a lot of traffic due to all the classes. Uh, and I, and I was also thinking maybe talk to Learn Square. I I had that thought before like set some class up with them if if they're interested that is um, but i don't know
I don't know what to do. We'll see. <laughs> Blue rib. That's cool. But I think what's what's uh, like um I think on that like YouTube recording of my lecture I think I will add the idea about uh, Patreon school in it. Um, you know, just like using it as marketing in the sense of saying like, oh, I'm I'm planning a class, and if there's enough interest in in the processes shown in this lecture, um, there will be a more in-depth version of it, and then I'll just. Um, Check how many is interested. If it if it's worth making a, a first class, and if there is, you know, I can start. Um, I can start step one, the like the first thumbnailing class, and during that class, I can just record the next. I'm thinking. <clears throat> we'll see. I'm so unhappy with this. It looks really, really bad. Not at all what I want. But I'm kind of just going through it. Not happy whatsoever. Very meh. I think I I messed up with the head. It was just not a clear picture. Whatever, I'll just start painting something. We'll see what happens. Lurib, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't want to like go in and say, "Hey, by the way, look over here." <laughs> kind of stealing their thunder, right? This might be a bit like a shit move. Halfway through, and I am not happy at all. What? Whatever. Let's go. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's do something. But hopefully, hopefully uh, the the class thing will work out. We'll see. Otherwise, uh, I mean, I think I, I will put the time in to <clears throat> time in to make the class and test to see if I can do it on my own. And if uh, if there isn't enough traffic, uh, I'll see just contact some bigger um, places see if they are interested. But that probably means the price will go up uh, you know because I'm not in charge of their pricing we'll see I like the idea though of going back to teaching here I had a year of yeah I think first of all like you said it looks like rock armor I think problem is just the color I think that's is one big reason why it's like I'm not happy with it. I just bad choices from the beginning. Um, but I will. Oh, the sketch. I'll keep sketching and see what comes out.
I think what's needed here though is uh, it's all just too much one thing. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna try. Maybe it should have some more tones. Just design some elements in there, just to break up the, the shapes because it's just one one material space meatball. <laughs> It is what it is. Some days are just you make the bad decision to follow something that's not really a great idea. And uh, if it would be like professionally, I wouldn't have uh, pursued the idea. Of obviously, I would have scrapped it. Uh, but as I'm only having thirty minutes, uh, I have to do something. <laughs> So obviously it becomes, uh, I just have to go with whatever I start with in order to, to have something in the end. But uh, luckily I know some tricks to, to use to kind of make something work. So I'm, I'm just going through the, the steps. <laughs> Fat Halo quarterback, yeah. <laughs> That's true, infinite divide. It's a Monday syndrome, and, uh, definitely. Hey, good morning, Tormod. How are you? Zin Fandel, good morning, good morning. Fantastic. A space ball, yeah. Now the problem here is, now I have to go and adjust the background, because obviously I was stupid to... Maybe oh, it's the same, but no. Brain, what are you doing? Monday. It's okay, it's okay. That's why we do warm ups. So we don't do this with client work. <laughs> you can't go say, sorry, I had the Mondays to the client. They don't care. A serious case of the Mondays. So, 10 minutes left, so it's okay. Uh, thanks, Infinite Divide. Um, I mean, I don't think it's too bad, but it's just not good enough. Uh, not at all where I where I'd like to have taken the the idea, but whatever, whatever, it'll be good. I'm quite sure of it. Something will come out of it. Actually, I wonder if I can boost. I could boost it a little bit. Yeah, I think I think it's also good to show like the mistakes that one can make and how to try to solve it. I know the mistake I did, like I mentioned, it, it's just I went with the wrong decision as I started the sketch. Like I didn't have a clear good idea. I didn't start it the correct way, I just kind of winged it too much. And um, the general initial idea with shapes wasn't strong enough, so now I have to spend time just repairing, uh, which stops the, like the overall progress of the, the painting. The painting has been standing still for quite some time compared to other paintings where you know, they move forward faster due to the fact that I can just go with the flow. But in, in this instance, uh, I'm going against the flow constantly. 
Well, that's a good thing to know. I mean, if you if you think about it, um, I will be more aware of it, and I know I will teach myself more about it next time. That don't jump in without uh, figuring it. I have a clearer picture in the head and like a roadmap. But the roadmap needs to be clear. Not a good sketch at all. Painful. But what can I do? Let's see, put it up there. Let's put some. Yeah, Michal, definitely. I mean, obviously, when you have to, like, the problem is that uh, the designing aspect is what I'm pursuing instead of just painting a painting. And it's just kind of, I messed up a bit. But still having some fun. You know, the, the process of painting this is, is pretty good. You know, I, I enjoy it, but the kind of, the the thinking aspect of, of me is, is, is just thinking about the, the fact that it, for me it's not very interesting to, to look at. I mean, the, the technical aspect of painting is still fun. Also inconsistent light makes it all just look flat and lit incorrectly, which makes it even more annoying to paint. <laughs> My mind is just going, oh, this is not correct, that is not correct, this is not correct. Ah. What can you do? Just keep, keep on keeping on, I guess. Very complaining today. What's what's with the complaining? I don't, I don't understand. I complain too much today. Three and a half minutes. I started watching uh, Sherlock Holmes, the um, season four. You know, with the uh, Cumber Cumberlatch or whatever his name is. Um, a very strange uh, 
acting. Like I hear that, like everyone saying that it's so good. Like oh, he he does a fantastic Sherlock Holmes. Um, I mean he does, but it's also very strange acting. But I guess they have to. Uh, they took the direction that he's like. Uh, functioning sociopath or whatever, you know, that he has some sort of condition. So I guess he has to act odd. But uh, it's it's interesting. Has any one of you seen that uh, Sherlock Holmes, the the English version, the with the Cumberlatch, Cumberpatch, whatever his name is. Cucumber batch. <laughs> uh, yeah, the cucumber batch guy. Cumberlatch. I don't remember his name. Something weird like that. I think this is like a TV show movie style, like really long episodes. Um, oh, great Odin's ring! Hey, 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 some follower, Fable. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thanks for the follow. Oh, Taboo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Tom Hardy. I, I definitely have a man crush on Tom Hardy. He's, he's really cool. And his voice. I mean, he voices the MasterChef, the, the UK one. And he, how he talks about food, he can make anything like sound so, so good. Ah, he's awesome. I really like his voice. And he's an amazing actor. I loved him in... Um, what's that mo movie when he's the this w famous crazy prisoner? Um, Bronson, right? Yeah, Bronson. It's a crazy cool movie. And he doesn't look like him at all. <laughs> Very transformative, both in behavior and, and visuals. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm not happy at all with my space ball. Uh, besides time's up. Uh, but it is what it is. Some days, this is what comes out. But I'm glad that I did the warm-up because I'm definitely in the right mindset to, um, to correct my mistakes. Or concept now for clients in the correct way. Which is all that's... Uh, you know, it ticked all the boxes for a warm up. Oh, those, 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 just, oh, come on. 
break. Like I just added stuff then just no. No. Alright, I have to stop painting on this. This is a it's a dead dead sub beating the dead horse, is that how you say it? Uh, Bronson this is a really cool movie. It's re really strange, but really cool. Right. Good luck with all the sketching people and the warm ups and uh, good night or good day. Have a sleep well or have a fantastic day, depending on where you're where you're at in the world. Um, I will uh, do some monsters now and hopefully not fail <laughs> the way I did on my warm up. But I know it exactly. Like I said, I know exactly why what 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 happened with my warm up. So. Uh, anyways, have a great day everyone, uh, see you tomorrow morning.